This is the enclosure I'm going to use for the Speedwino ECU that I'm building. Um, this is the CVT TCM, which would be Transmission Control Module, uh, that came with the Insight that I'm working on. So I'm swapping it to a 5-speed and swapping in a K24. So all the stock stuff is go went in the garbage, basically. Except this, and I've got a big wad of wiring that came with the car that I'm going to put together to run the new engine. So the reason I chose to do this is I had this. I tried to sell it on eBay for, you know, 10 bucks, and nobody was buying it. So I decided this will become my ECU enclosure. So this has just got a top and bottom plate that screw on, so it's, you know, it's not waterproof or anything. Um, it'll get mounted in the factory location in the passenger footwell with the factory hardware, so this is going to be a good, a good enclosure for what I'm trying to do. So what I did is, you know, this had a circuit board, this whole thing was a circuit board when I started. What I did is I just took the angle grinder and lopped it off right by the pins there. And this is screwed on to hold the connector steady. Like that's that's pretty good. Um, so I threw the rest of the board away and that makes room for my uh, Speedwino ECU. And now the way that this Speedwino comes see there's how you spell it. Speedwino. Uh, the way that this comes is you get a board and then it's got an Arduino on the back that just slides into header pins and it doesn't come with an enclosure or anything and I soldered all these components on here um, so you gotta come up with some sort of an enclosure I'm sure you can buy something but it doesn't have you know if you buy something you gotta buy a uh, wiring connectors and all that kind of stuff and I already had that in this unused uh, transmission control module enclosure. So I'll show you how this is going to go together and my plan for connecting the board. The board gets connected with this 40 pin here. Um, so my plan is just to solder wires onto these connections. Put them over here and solder them, solder them on the back of here. So I'll have some short jumper wires inside. Some guys would use a uh, plug connector so they could take this out. I, I don't know that I care about that too much. I'll just, if I ever need to modify it, I'll modify it when it's installed or I'll desolder those. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Also, this will unbolt so I can still take everything out of the case if I ever need to do that. Um, so, uh, all of these components have a have a use and a reason that they're on there. Um, I won't go through that today, but um, this thing costed me probably, I don't know, I've got maybe 70 bucks in it. Um, I had most of the resistors, I had most of the compa capacitors laying around from college electrical engineering classes that I took, you know, labs and stuff. So a lot of the components I already had even. So I think the board was I don't know, 12 bucks or something, and then... The biggest cost are the MOSFETs to drive the injectors and the ignition coils. So I'll put this together and I will show you how it's going to look when it's installed and some of the brackets and stuff that I printed to uh, mount this into the case. Here is the Speedwino board mounted in the OEM TCU case, TCM case. Um, so the way that I did this is, it's a little creative, I, I think I'm a little clever, but we'll see what anybody else thinks. Um, so what I did is I 3D printed this piece, and this piece, and then a piece in the back here. Um, that supports the board kind of right in the middle here. You can see how it's supported. 
and these these screws and these brackets were used for uh, heat sinks to the aluminum case. So when I chopped out the green board that was original in this in this case, um, I didn't have any use for those heat sinks anymore. So I printed up these brackets out of ASA, which is basically a an ABS plastic, and uh, that supports the board. It's not as well supported as I'd like, so I'll probably put another something over on this side and on this side just to brace it against the case a little bit better. Because I'm, I'm thinking if this thing vibrates around freely, I'm going to have some problems. So I'm going to try to make that as good as I can. Uh, so the plan is going to be, uh, here's where the wires for the inputs and outputs of the ECU are connected. The power and ground will be over here. Um, my plan is to take some you know, small wires like this. I've got a ton of these from you know, prototyping projects and stuff. And I'll just solder those in there and they'll go around you know, down here on the side around the back and then they'll pick up They'll pick up these points here and get soldered on. Um, that's what I'm thinking. It looks like some of them could come from the bottom, or all of them come, could come from the bottom if I wanted to. I just have to pull this off. Um, I made a hole in the case for the USB connector. It's nothing fancy, but gets you through there. I have a longer cord that I'll probably just have you know, plugged in all the time and wrapped up inside the car. But this is the route I'm going here, so I've been working on wiring and uh, I need to put together a wiring diagram and then start putting it all together, but I've got this spaghetti of wires here that has the two plugs on it that plug into here. So I'm just splicing wires on the, to the end as needed to make this all work. There's the grommet that goes through the firewall. So there's that. There's this big tangle of wires over here. And then I've got the engine side is still out in the garage. So yeah, this is how I'm doing it with this enclosure. It's a really cheap almost free way to do it. Um, I think you could probably 3D print an enclosure. I think you could probably buy one if you knew the right person. Um, I like this method because it, it uses a lot of the stuff that I've already got in hand like connectors and um, wiring and stuff like that. So I'll uh, provide another update when, when I get this keep this moving here. This is this is kind of a slow part of the project because there's not a ton of stuff to see. Um, there's not a ton of, you know, I'm not taking video of everything that I do and doing time lapses and stuff, so it, it might seem like there's big gaps where I'm not doing anything, but I'm still making progress on it. Um, so yeah, when it's all done, it'll look like this. should work great.